Hey folks, little garden video here inspired by Simply Jan's Homestead, which I just got done watching live and it's over now. So I'll take you around and show you some of my stuff. Hope you like it. Look at all that garlic. Big, huge garlic. Another garlic. All that garlic out there. Asparagus. I don't know if y'all can see that. Maybe you can see that better. There was a fourth one out here, but I can't find it. This one, I don't know what happened. Yes, I did eat one. These are flowers that somebody gave my mom, and she thought they were dead, so I was to throw them away. And obviously they weren't dead. Brussels sprouts. Do not like the south. Onions are getting bigger, huh? All this out here, full of cilantro. Cilantro doesn't like growing out here either. Look at these onions that have bolted. Come on now, it's winter time. Why'd you do that? But the onions are getting bigger. You can see that. Collard greens. <laughs> I don't know. I guess they like them warmer. I don't know. Oh, and a cabbage right there. Oh, this is what I really wanted to show you. Look at the trees. They're coming alive. They ain't staying alive. They're coming alive. Coming alive. <laughs> Jan, if you're watching this, and Boss, now that I know Boss, um, this is where I put my English peas, and it's been like three weeks, I got nothing. See, they when they grow, they climb up these strings to the cattle panel, or whatever that panel is called. Might be a cattle panel, might be a sheep panel. I don't know. I'm not from there. Anyway. Compost, look at all that. Paper, trash, big old tea bag. And then this, we got onions. Onions escaped. Don't know how. The only thing I could figure is I put onion flower heads in here and somehow they grew. Really weird. I was telling you guys about all the garlic I have. Look at this. Garlic for days. When I get in here and separate the small ones, it makes them grow big like this. I'll dig that up in probably July. There's an escapee from here. Look at all this. I gotta get in here and sort through it see what happens when you separate the little ones from the big ones there's two big ones right there next to each other so i'm gonna have to dig those up and separate them there's some that really i mean there's like a hundred plants right here that need to be separated but uh come summer you can't dig them out it's impossible this dirt turns to concrete Here's the end of my garlic. Got a pretty good stand of it there. Oh, look at this. The buds buds on the muscadine are getting bigger. Hopefully you can see that. I don't know. Haven't operated this camera enough to figure that out yet. There's my mighty cedar. That thing's huge. Probably 150 years old. Mulberry, just starting to get little green buds on it. Apple tree, just waking up. Look at that. Apple trees throw leaves out before they do flowers. 
this one here needs to wake up. Wake up! Look, people are watching you. This one's got some pretty good leaves on it now. Not sure how I'm going to shape this. I may cut this off right here. But I don't know. I need to cut those branches off down there. Each tree. That's a little tiny sucker, ain't it? <laughs> don't think it's going to have peaches on it this year, but I hope it grows because this thing looks exactly like it did last year. Another peach tree. See this one flowers first and then the leaves come out. So it's got leaves coming out now. Uh, what else do you want to see? Ah, you probably don't want to see anything. Drew doesn't want to see my Jeep. <laughs> Drew at Dutch Creek Cabin. There it is. I might send you a poster of this. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to wrap this video up.